There is no way in a 30 to 60 second video spot that I can do justice to breaking open the Black Lives Matter movement. Nor maybe even if I had 30 to 60 minutes or hours. I don't believe I can be a voice for those leading the Black Lives Matter movement, especially founders Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, and Patrice Cullors. But I would like to be a voice with them. The founding women are understandably protective of their work and words, and I am not by any means trying to speak for them or to interpret their work for the white community. But I am saying that recognizing the dehumanization of black people, particularly in the U.S., via mass incarceration, systematic economic oppression, suppression of educational resources, and the pervasive devaluing of black lives on the streets by police officers and others, calls us to stand as allies. We cannot dismiss the disproportionate burden of black people by trying to make it easier on ourselves. There is a complex network of action steps necessary to dismantle the weight of racism broadly. The action steps before us are bound to make many of us tense and uncomfortable. We need to talk with one another. We need to listen. We need to study. We need to speak out. I believe that there are means to create safe space even if it fails to keep us from feeling defensive or awkward from time to time. Learning and growing is never easy. As Ms. Garza, Ms. Tometi, and Ms. Cullors remind us, we cannot get to unity first without navigating the struggle. But if we have the courage to work for justice, especially with our black sisters and brothers, the entire human community will benefit. Again, I quote, when black people get free, everybody gets free.